dumbbell reverse lunge. Um, this is a great exercise to uh, work single leg strength. Um, so getting yourself on one leg, often, uh, obviously, you know, in, in dance, um, you're often on one leg, um, having to produce power off of one leg, landing on one leg. Um, and so this reverse lunge is a great variation. I like this for dancers because of the um, amount of um, glute activation that you get with this lunge variation. Anytime you're lunging, you get that knee flexion, quads are going to be involved. But with this reverse lunge variation and um, the way you have to get into hip extension to finish the movement, um, you're going to get a lot of good glute activation as well. So the name reverse lunge, all that means is that you're going to step back. So holding my dumbbells here to the side, I'm going to step back and then lift myself back up. You can alternate these, so right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg, or if you have trouble finding your spot on the floor, um, finding your distance, finding you know where you should step back to, um, you can do all right leg and then all left leg. Um, the other thing to keep in mind with the uh, reverse lunge, or really any lunge variation, is we don't necessarily want that knee to tap to the ground. We want full range of motion. Um, if you are a dancer who is pretty mobile, and that's probably the case, um, you may step off of a slight step to give you room to account for your increased mobility. But what we don't want to do is crash that kneecap to the ground on, on every repetition. It's just not worth uh, beating up your body uh, in that sense. You're not gaining anything from, from tapping that knee to the ground. So if you're so mobile that you find that happening, then I would, you know, you could even take like a 45 pound plate and step off of that to execute the dumbbell reverse lunge.